Hello and welcome to uh, Tim's Valley TV with me, Martin Elbeck, and Nicholas Corkyberger Wright. Hello. Um, and here we are at uh, in front of Reading Prison. How's Daniel Craig? He's he's all right. His head has got a bit smaller uh, than when we last saw him, uh, and his body's got a bit bigger. Um, unfortunately, uh, he's been hit by the curse. <laughs> what curse is that? Uh, any film you make outside the Bond franchise uh, doesn't really um, prosper. No, no, it doesn't. Because I mean, if you look at Sean Connery, obviously he did Marnie, which was a with an Alfred Hitchcock film, wasn't it? And that wasn't a hit, even though it was Alfred Hitchcock and it had James Bond in, which is you know two big hits. Well, I think I think uh, the trouble with Sean Connery is he's an exception to the rule, isn't it? No, but during the time, ah, oh. during the time he was didn't have a. Uh, he didn't make any films, did he? No, he made Marnie. That was the whole thing. That wasn't very good. Well, that's the point. Ah, so but once he left, uh, well, and I suppose that's true of Roger Moore. Although, to be fair to Roger, he did make Gold. I think he's probably been the most. So he made Gold with Susanna York. Was that during or after? That's during, and he made North Sea Hijack. And were those hits during? Oh, I think I think you'll find there were hits, Martin. <laughs> um, and and furthermore, when he left the Bond franchise, his career flourished further with Bullseye, <laughs> uh, which is a, a, a much underrated film, and of course, um, Cannonball Run. Yeah. Oh, was that during? I would have thought that was after. Maybe. He looks a bit older. He does. Um, and... Don't get confused with Burke. But Burke Reynolds. Burke Reynolds. Burke Reynolds. And, um, and of, but of course, Sean Connery, uh, uh, as I said, during during James Bond, he just did Marnie. Didn't no, he? but then after that, he really has cornered the market uh, as as a, as a tweed suit wearing Scotsman. Cowboys and Aliens. That's not, that's uh, Craig. That's Daniel Craig, yeah. Yeah, so unfortunately Daniel Craig, Golden Compass was supposed to be quite good. No, it wasn't. It was, was it rubbish? And also, there's a whole trilogy of those books. That, that aren't going to be made. That aren't going to be made. <laughs> because Frank, of the curse. Frank, thanks, Daniel. <laughs> That's what that's what Philip Pullman's saying. <laughs> he looks at J.K. Rowling with her franchise, and he, he says, "Thanks, Daniel." Why didn't they know about the curse? Should I don't it, know. Should he just wait until he finishes his uh, four, he four makes, films because he's going to be three? How, how many films is Daniel Craig going to make? Not saying he's bad. But is he just, on his fourth? Is he on third? his third? Uh, I think he's got one more. Yeah, and it, it is Sam Mendes from Reading. Yeah, no. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, 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 get up there, Reading, bigging it up, Reading. Uh, yeah, no, I think he's all right. Uh, okay, he's Winslet's ex-husband. She's from Reading. Um, Chris Tarrant's in it. He's from Reading. <laughs> he's, in it. he's the baddie. Wiki Device. Wiki, um, yeah. From from Reading. And um, and yeah. That's Sarah Beanie. So they're all going to be. Reading. Well, Sarah Beanie's not going to be in it, but um, yeah. So Marion Faithful from Reading. She's from Reading. Hmm. Get Reading Museum. They've got her address. Really. I got her address. She won't wear it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, so anyway, we've got, you've got the new James Bond film, which is a Reading. Uh, well, Reading. Reading is based in Reading. It's based, yeah, uh, and it is going to be a, a running, running past the, the prison. He's going to escape from the prison. Oof. 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 <laughs> That's Roger Moore. Oof. Daniel Craig is. Apparently, mm -hmm. right, Dame Jude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's Dame Judi Dench in it. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't like you, Bond. You're a blunt instrument. <laughs> <laughs> You're nothing but a misogynist old dinosaur, <laughs> a relic of the Cold War. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, we yeah. haven't talked about Pierce Brosnan, who did um, Dante's Peak, which has a dog in it. Yes, and also he uh, was brown oil. Was he brown oil? <laughs> 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 he was a. He was a Brownie leader. And he set up his own film. He told Barry Norman he's going to set up his own film company called Irish Dreamworks. Uh, I think there's an issue there. <laughs> and uh, he wanted to make a film about a talking teddy bear. Yeah. yeah. But he's done well reinventing himself as a uh, rom com uh, supporting male, hasn't he? What's I'm he... thinking Mamma Mia. Yeah. And that new one with uh, that uh, she's got to have it. Oh, was he in that? He is. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. Was that during Bond? I think it was before. Wow. Um, could be wrong. Could be wrong. And uh, I think what about before. Eight Miles Attacks? Yeah, yeah. That was good in that, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was after as well. And That's kind of like... Long Good Friday. That was a bit... What? Was he in that? He play, in the Long Good Friday, he plays a homosexual 
uh, in some very tight swimming trunks who murders uh, another homosexual in a swimming pool. Why did he do that? I don't know. <laughs> Didn't you watch it? <laughs> I did, but it wasn't what the director asked. <laughs> oh, thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you for watching Thames Valley TV. Uh, wait for the next one, it'll be some point. And uh, I'll edit this down, APU as per usual. And uh, we'll get ourselves another episode next week or next month, next year. Adios. There you go.